Hello, my name is Trisha, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make your very own DIY clapperboard bedroom door sign. A clapperboard film slate or film clapper is used on movie sets to help in editing, to assist in synchronizing the sound with the picture. You're going to design and decorate your very own personalized clapperboard door sign that you can hang up on your bedroom door then. So let's get ready. Lights, camera, action. To create your clapperboard bedroom door sign, you're going to need some cardboard. You're going to want thick cardboard, the type you'd find in a cardboard box. Something that is nice and sturdy and solid. You're going to need a glue stick, a ruler, scissors, black marker, a dry erase or whiteboard marker, a pencil, string, tape, white paper and paper fasteners. The first thing we're going to do is create the shape of our cardboard clapper. I'm going to use an A4 bit of paper to measure to create the slate part. You can use a ruler to also measure it out. It will be about 21 centimeters going down and 29.7 centimeters going across. I'm also going to need the hinge part of the clapper measured out. And this is going to be about six centimeters. six centimeters across and it will be the same 29.7 lengthwise. And I'm now just going to cut this out. So now I have my A4 slate piece of cardboard and I have my clapper stick and now what I need to create is the hinge here. So getting another piece of cardboard, I'm just going to measure nine centimeters up. and eight centimeters across. I'm just going to bring this line down into curve. And then cut it out. So now I have my hinge for my clapper board. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to create holes for our pins. So we don't want it too close to the edge. Put a little mark here, and here, and up here. And then using your pencil with a sharp nib, just gently press in and twist. So for your clapper to move, we're going to need a little bit cut off here. So using your ruler, just 
So now I want to transfer these holes onto this bit of cardboard. So holding it in place. And marking the circles. Just going to check it that it works. So getting your paper fastener and putting it through the hole and tightening it around the back, pressing them down like that. And doing the same with these ones. Your clapperboard and we're going to be turning our clapperboard into a door sign so we're going to want to hang some string so we're going to need another hole here so we can use to hang off the string I'm just going to make sure it's roughly parallel and that's what we'll be using to hold the string so now we're going to want to cover this with paper, so we want to take it all apart so we can do that. So now we're going to cover it in paper. Go around the outside line first of all. And then doing a big X in the middle. So you can trace around your paper for this. And the same for this bit. So now we need to recreate our holes again. So you can just go turn around and gently push through where your hole is. So now we're going to colour in and we're going to create diagonal lines going across for our slate on the clapper. So I'm going to do mine four centimetres. Measure going down. Going five centimeters down. So now I want these to match up. So I can see this line should start here. So we dot there. This line should start here. Just creating this pointed shape like this. So now I'm going to get all my information on my slate. So I want to measure out space for the writing. So I'm going to go down 
two and a half centimeters. It doesn't have to be exact. You can just write yours out if you wish, but I'm measuring my lines first. going to draw a line across. I'm just going to write out on pencil. any bits of pencil coming through you can rub it out so now you can start to color in your copper as well So now we're ready and we're going to begin to cover our whole board with sellotape. So it can be used like a whiteboard. So I've already got one piece on here. Just placing it down, flatting it. And folding it around the back. Done here, now second row. Now I'm going to cover the whole thing. So 
So now you want to recreate your holes that you have. So just using the pencil again to gently push in. Paper fascinators, you're going to attach everything together again. So the next thing we're going to add is our string. And we want enough so we can hang it on our bedroom and tie a knot. So I'm measuring about this much. Just roughly so you have enough to hang it on. And I'm just attaching it to the two end paper fasteners. Tie a knot. have it on the back. So now we're going to personalize our cover board. Cover boards were traditionally made of slate. This part here which would have been chalk so it could have been changed and wiped out. The production would have stood for the film. So for that I'm going to write my room so my name on my room and I'm using the whiteboard marker a dry erase marker so we'll wipe off afterwards. So the director would have been the name of the director. I'm just going to write my name here. So camera would have been what camera they were using. And I'm just going to write something fun here. You can write whatever you want. But sometimes you might not want people coming to your room. So I'm going to write stop. And filming in progress. So the date would have been the date that they were filming, but you can just write whatever date the, today's date is. And scene would have been the scene number, but I'm just going to write the month on this. And take would have been the take number, but you can write anything fun that you want in this. You could do a little drawing even. And there you have your finished awesome door sign, just like the iconic clapperboard from movies. You can write anything you want and change it every day by just wiping out the dry erase marker and starting all over again. So thank you so much for joining me. I hope you had lots of fun making your movie clapperboard and you can find somewhere really fun to hang it in your bedroom.